What is a family entertainment center? In today's leisure market, there are many forms of entertainment. Let's go over a few of the more common acronyms to learn more. FEC, Family Entertainment Center. Standalone centers that feature a variety of activities including laser tag, miniature golf, arcade games, go-karts, batting cages, bumper boats and others. Typically indoors, but larger centers may also include outdoor activities and attractions. Smaller than an amusement park, but large enough to attract the entire family, generally from six years and up. CEC, Children's Entertainment Center, also known as Children's Edutainment Centers, or similar indoor party centers catering primarily to children aged 2 to 12 years. Activities generally include some form of indoor playground, soft play for toddlers, climbing, jumping, and sliding, in some cases redemption ticket games, multiple party rooms, concessions, and maybe some kind of content or programs delivered by the staff. LBE, Location Based Entertainment, simply some form of entertainment that is tied to a particular location other than your home. LBE is often used interchangeably to describe family entertainment centers, themed entertainment attractions, large-scale arcades and bowling alleys. Pool halls, water parks, casinos, movie theaters are also technically LBEs. Though they seem to fit the description, spectator sports like baseball or football are usually not considered an LBE. UEC stands for Urban Entertainment Center as a destination and a component of many entertainment options. Typically a pedestrian area where one would also find theaters, retail, clubs and discos. Do they still make discos? <laughs> Showing my age. Generally focused on a younger hip crowd, these centers offer food and alcohol, arcade games and may sometimes be anchored by bowling. AEC, an adult entertainment center. These are larger standalone centers that focus on young adults in their 20s and early 30s. Centers like Dave and Buster's and GameWorks are good examples of an AEC. REC or Retail Entertainment Center. Not to be confused with a rec center like a YMCA or fitness center, the Retail Entertainment Center primarily refers to its location within the retail elements of a community mall. These are simply FECs or CECs located in a mall and a term that is used less and less these days. Theme parks and amusement parks. Theme parks, of course, are large-scale uh, year-round attractions like Disney and Universal Studios. And amusement parks can be multi-acre outdoor attractions with a wide variety of rides, attractions and concessions, generally operated on a seasonal basis. Ah yes, entertainment and agritainment. A newer genre of family-friendly experiences in the form of entertainment and agritainment with the likes of Planet Hollywood, the Rainforest Cafe, and longtime family homesteads or pumpkin patches or some of those corn mazes are creating totally new segments within the new experience economy. For the purposes of this overview, we will stay within the FEC and the CEC categories. And within the FEC category, there are market varieties, indoor, outdoor, combination of both. Typically, a family entertainment center is a non-tourist based facility that tends to be very community centric, drawing on a local repeat business to meet revenue projections and profitability. They are typically located in or near residential areas within a light industrial business park or other accommodating space and draw from a market area within 10 to 20 minute drive time. Unlike a theme park where one might visit a couple of times a year, a successful family entertainment center requires and is directly dependent upon high local community traffic. In order to succeed, you must develop a loyal repeat customer base. There is no generic FEC formula. Each facility needs to be tailored for the specific area and target market of that area. However, there is a standard set of entertainment parameters that all FECs evolve from. The FEC as an outdoor amusement center. These are the old school miniature golf businesses on the side of the road when you and your parents made that road trip back in the 60s or 70s. 
From there, owners started adding go-karts, bumper boats, water play, and other outdoor attractions to a summer seasonal business. Then came the FEC as an indoor family fun center. I'm not sure who the first one was to take the old outdoor model and bring it indoors, but it started by adding some arcade games under the concession stand roof and has grown to the indoor FEC we see today. Typically 10,000 to 30,000 square feet, targeted towards the entire family, six years to adult. In addition to food and beverage concessions, most centers combine three or more anchor attractions, such as bowling, go-karts, soft contained play, mini golf, and include a variety of impulse attractions like redemption ticket games, arcade games, rides, and other family-friendly activities. Now let's take a look at the CEC, the Children's Entertainment Center. Catering primarily to infants through 12 years old, these facilities offer two varieties, entertainment only, playful learning or edutainment, or a combination of them both. Mum's the primary buyer for this group, and she's concerned with safety, cleanliness, security, and visibility. In many cases, Mum also wants to nurture the child and be a part of that process within a playful learning environment. And it is here that for some markets and some locations, that offering an edutainment aspect can make good business sense. Edutainment is simply the outcome of combining some form of content, programming, or managed instruction or guidance to the play experience. In addition to mum's desire to see and participate with her child through hands-on, tactile play, and the playful learning process, for many CECs, the challenge can be driving revenues midweek outside of the busy weekend and party hours. This too can be compensated for in some degree by offering playful learning or edutainment through different types of in-house programming. Anything from a weekly mummy and me type program to arts, dance, dress up play, toddler yoga can all be employed. Edutainment most easily fits with the five and under crowd, and if there's a market of at-home mums and caregivers, these kinds of programs can add value to the community, help differentiate your center from others, and be a strong revenue driver for your business. And although five and under is a good fit, more fit active programs can also be developed for ages six through 12. Our own Mission 13 interactive game is a great example of this. So I hope the proceeding gives you a better idea of the types of facilities out there and how our focus here at the Fun Center Academy can help you pull together your FEC project. For more information about any of the aspects discussed here, stop by our other learning modules. Thanks for watching.